Hey everybody, Matt Kleskowski here, and I uh, wanted to show you a little tip for Lightroom. Not Nothing to really do with editing your photos, it's more of just a customization tip. Really quick, I gotta pay the bills. I'm teaching a Lightroom seminar tour. You can go to kelbytraining.com for more info. Uh, just go to the Lightroom seminar tour. There's a video, all kinds of stuff to watch if you want to. Uh, my next date, it's not listed on here, but it will be very soon. I figure I'll just tell you ahead of time so you can make plans. May 21st in Boston. Okay, keep checking back to the site. The web team will get it up there. But May 21st in Boston, uh, if you're going to be around. Anyway, back to uh, back to our tutorial here. So you see these little end marks at the bottom of the, the last panel here. They show up all throughout Lightroom, all the different modules here. If you right click on it, you go down to panel end mark, you can change to different ones here. There's the flourish, which is the default. That's probably what you see. Um, if you click on it again, your small flourish box, the flare yin yang tattoo all right so lots of different ones in here but if you go down here you're going to see an option all the way at the bottom called go to panel and marks folder if you click on that it takes you to a folder where if you open that folder you can put images inside of there all right so the idea here is that you can make your own panel and mark so we can go into photoshop and we can make our own graphics here i did one here i want to show you a little trick though well it's kind of a little trick. You don't have to do it this way um, I, because I can tell you what the number is. But you can do a screen capture, whatever your screen capture. I know on the Mac it's like Control Shift Command Four, uh, but you can do a screen capture and take a screen capture of the area, then go into Photoshop, create a new document, and uh, you can paste it into that new document, and it'll show you exactly how big that it should be. I can tell you right now, it should be about 235 pixels. I think that's what I have here. Uh, 234, it's actually 235 is a better number for it. It's one pixel off, it won't make a difference. But it should be about 235 pixels wide. Now, it can be any length, it just depends on your screen size and how much you wanna fill up. But this goes all the way down, so depending on what you have your resolution set to, you may have a lot of area here, you may not have a lot of area here. Um, but I, I wouldn't go obnoxious with it. I'd make it pretty small. Um, anyway, so come back over here. Uh, and let me just show you. Here's a graphic I created. It's just some type layers uh, with the little graphic that I drew with the pen tool. All right. Now, what I did is I deleted the background layer. I dragged the background layer to the trash can so it's transparent. And what we're going to do is we're going to save this as a PNG file. Just come down here under Format and just choose the... PNG format because that supports transparency. You see, we're back here in Lightroom. I want to be able to see through it. If I if I save it with a white or black background, it's going to show up with a big white or black background. You could always take a screen capture and sample this whole thing, and you could use the eyedropper to sample the color and make that the background. But it's easy to just do a PNG as well. Okay, but save it as a PNG. It'll keep the transparency. Uh, we'll just call this uh, Lightroom Killer Tip. Dot PNG, hit save, hit OK. And then we're going to go back over here. And what I would do is I'd open up another finder window here and go to my desktop. And I would just take this PNG image, just drag it into that folder. OK, at that point, I don't need it anymore. Just put it right into that folder. The trick is to restart Lightroom. So I have to close Lightroom down and then go ahead and restart Lightroom. When I restart Lightroom, if I go over to that little end mark editor area that we saw before, but go over there, if I right click on it, it's taking a while to start here, but when I do go over and I right click on it, you're gonna see that these, whatever presets you had in there, let me go ahead and do it, panel end mark editor, look, they show up right here, Lightroom killer tip.png, and you'll see if you look in that folder, that the other ones, Matt K, Matt K2, PNG. So you'll see that the other ones are indeed in there as well. So we just right click on it, choose panel and mark editor, and I choose Lightroom Killer Tip. And sure enough, it shows up as my little end mark there. So you can do a logo, you can do text, um, you know, sky's the limit on this thing, whatever, whatever you want to put inside of there, you can put in there. Remember about 235 pixels wide, and it can be as long as you want. Again, I wouldn't go obnoxiously long with it, but it can be as long as you want because it just depends on your screen real estate and how much space that you have over there. Okay. Now, also, by the way, 235 pixels is assuming you have your panels tucked over to the right. Notice how you can change the size of your panels. Okay. You can move them. So I'm assuming you have it tucked over to the right or over to the left as far as you can. 
right? If you're somebody that maybe uses a little bit more space for your panels, then feel free to take a screen capture of that and bring it into Photoshop and measure the size that way. Okay, folks, hope you enjoyed the uh, little tip here on customizing Lightroom. My name is Matt Kluskowski, and I'll talk to you again very soon.